Hello, my name is Harsha Senviratna. Today I want to talk about something we, you know, in life there's no handbook. There's no handbook which says this is how you live your life. There's no handbook which says this is how you raise your kids. This is no, there's no handbook when you get married to say this is how you have a, a wonderful marriage. There's no handbook which says, you know, this is how you create a relationship. There's lots of books out there, but there's no handbook step by step. You've got to, you've got to navigate your way through life and, and work on your strengths and work on improving uh, or, or finding solutions to your weaknesses, whether it be support from other people or tools and strategies and so forth. But one of the things I've become completely aware of over the last few years is that words like, you know, in particular, words like trust is not an outcome. To be trustworthy, you need to be creating trust as an action, doing trust, doing things that create trust on a day-by-day, moment-by-moment basis. So this is a great awareness. If Once you realize that trust is not just something that you create and then you're trustworthy, it's something that's always, you're always doing it. You're always adding value to your customers. You're always nurturing the relationships that you have, whether it be personally or professionally. You're always putting more into those relationships. You're always adding value. And I cannot stress this more because I've seen, uh, just over the last few days, I've seen things blossom in the relationships that I have. And I wanted to share this message. I wanted to share that act, trust is actually, if you can create a verb out of it rather than think of it as an outcome, you'll be on your way to a better life, to better relationships all around you. How do you create that trust? Well, that, that is something you've got to work on. You know, what, what do you need to do? And that's something you need to navigate your way through. But understand that trust is a verb or... Is it a verb? I don't know. In the English language, you might need to look that up, but use it as a verb and then you'll, you'll get to a better place. All the best. Harsh Senratna, signing off.